Hi everybody, Ambassador Len Johnson coming to you from Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. I'm out riding my new XCR. Thank you Polaris for making the sled that we expected. As many of you guys know, I got the chance to put a lot of miles on a pre-production XCR last spring. And I reported back about the suspension and stuff like that. And I can tell you that the calibrations that I experienced in the spring are spot on. This thing goes like it should go. It goes like the one that I demoed. Now, with that being said, I actually ran into a problem with my brand new XC XCR. And we're gonna go over that right now because this is super important. If you look at my oil tank, it's missing the cap. Well, I've got caps right here. I've got the cap that came out on my sled and I've got the oil cap from my daughter Brooks Assault, which is a 2021 20, Assault. If you notice, when you shake it, you can hear something rattling around. You shake mine, you can't hear anything. Well, guess what happened? This morning, when I opened up the oil cap to refill the oil, the first thing I noticed before I even opened it is that I had used very little oil, like it had gone down very little. That was very concerning because I did 125 miles yesterday and you guys all know that during break-in these things use a lot of oil because the engine over oils during break-in to protect it. Makes sense. When I cracked the cap loose I heard air rushing like when you pop a soda can that kind of sound and that was very concerning. I also noticed that when I popped the cap the tank was flexed inward and it flexed back out which means there was quite a vacuum in there which is why the oil use is very low. Lucky for me, I pre-mixed my first tank of fuel. And I think that actually saved this engine from burning down on me. What had happened during manufacturing is they forgot to put the ball bearing. There's a ball bearing in this cap. You can hear it. it rolls around. It actually rolls around in there as you're driving and it creates uh, there's a little valve here if you look really close you can see there's a valve and that valve has a long stem on it and the ball rolls around and cracks the valve open allowing air to come in as the oil goes out that's how players has been doing it for years that's actually a really good design well the manufacturer that made this cap for players forgot to put the ball in it so i had called mums my dealer down in uh Groveton, New Hampshire, Mums North Country Power Sports, and I had picked this up on Thursday from, the, from them, and they had done a great job getting it ready. So I called them and alerted them what I had found, and I asked them to go check all the new sleds and crates, as well as any new sled on the showroom floor, or anything that was in pre-delivery before customers picked it up, because I wanted them to catch this issue had it been more of an issue, but it turns out that everything that they checked was fine. They found every cap when you shake it and you guys can hear it there's a ball in there that's what you want to hear you can also physically feel that it's heavier than the cap with nothing in it so what i did so i could ride today is i modified the cap by drilling out the hole with a drill bit so that the valve could not seat therefore allowing oil to go into the engine and air to come back in as the oil has been displaced right? the air displaces the oil and it worked fine. As you can see, I did 80 miles today, and I've used that much oil, which is normal when you're in break-in mode. But yesterday, I had only used very, very little. So, I know Polaris says don't pre-mix the first tank, and I actually never used to do this, but this year I decided to do it, and I actually took it really easy on the motor as I broke it in, because I plan on keeping the sled for a little while. So check with your dealer um, about this. Alert them, alert them to this issue. Also check your own sleds when you get them. And ambassadors out there, my fellow ambassadors from US and Canada, make sure you guys are relaying this information to your dealers and all your friends and stuff so that we can catch this before it becomes an issue. I might have the only one, it might be a non-issue, but because there's one that could be another, and we just don't want these things burned down because there's not a lot of parts, as you guys know. 
because of the COVID related shortages around the world. So thanks for tuning in. Check your oil caps. It's pretty easy. Just shake it. You'll hear the ball in there. If you hear it, you're good to go. See you guys on the trails.